to chill house but I have a little bit of time and I'm walking through Soho right now which I'm gonna come to after I sauna but I'm right near this store called the Webster that I went to in Toronto and it was amazing they are so well curated with lots of amazing brands it's beautiful in there and the girl was like oh yeah have you been to the one in New York I was like there's one in New York so it's on Green Street in Soho and I'm gonna go check it out um, I just, it's so well decorated in there and the brands they have are You guys, that store, I can't believe I didn't know it existed until right now. It's dangerous for my wallet. I just went in and I pulled a couple things that I'm gonna try on when I get back. But uh, it's time to go to Chill House and do a little sauna. City. I filmed an intro this morning before I headed out for the day and it wasn't recording the audio. So here we are. But yeah, I was in Dallas this past week visiting my friend Kenzie and it was just so lovely. We went horseback riding. I watched her needlepoint. It was just really good girl time and I'm so happy. And so today's actually Thursday. So it's a little bit of a week into weekend in my life. Lots of fun things going on. And today I just wanted to have a little, little wellness shopping day. So did a workout, went to New York Pilates, went to sauna at Chill House. I have like a membership there so you can go sauna there. It's amazing. You get your own little pod. I absolutely love it. And then yeah, you guys saw me, I went shopping and now I'm home and I'm in for the night and I wanna do a haul because I feel like the OG hauls where you like actually went shopping in person is so fun. I bought this bag at Zara because their paper bags were not gonna cut it. 
I like don't, I don't shop at Zara online. So the only time I shop Zara is in person. And I just have, what I said this morning in the intro is that I have lots of trips coming up. I have Miami, I have LA, I'm going to Banff in Alberta, Canada. I feel like I'm going somewhere else too. Like there's just all the, oh, I have a wedding. Lots of different climates, lots of different outfits and I love an excuse to shop. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Zara. Um, a little bit of everything, honestly. The first thing I got is this set. It's just this little, I thought I'd bring this to Canada, to Banff, where um, it's like a brand trip with Skin Fix. I think I'd already be, have gone or be there right now when this video is up. So go follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn and TikTok. I got this set. I thought this would be so comfy cozy, either for lounging or you could layer it. So it's just these gray bottoms. And then I love this top. It's a sleeveless gray turtleneck. You can wear them on their own as well. But I think this is such a cute little chic set. Um, you could wear a jacket over top or if you're just lounging around with Uggs, I think that's so fun. Um, when we go to LA, Brooke and I are going to LA for like a week to do a ton of podcast collabs, pod swaps, have people on our show. I'm so excited. So I was like, I need a couple new like podcast tops as I call them, like just fun tops. Obviously, Gals in the Go, we wear pink. This top from Zara is seriously so stunning. It's an off the shoulder. I love these types of tops. I find them to be very flattering. There you go, you can kind of see. Um, but it's like long sleeve. And then this is kind of out of context, but I'm doing something sporty in Miami. I'm going to something, we're going to the Miami Open and I am so excited. Um, and so I needed some fun little outfits and Zara just happened to have what I needed. So I got this really cute green dress with this white detail here. I mean, boom, done, that's an outfit. And then I also got this one because I think we're doing like two different things. Uh, more info to come on this trip later, but this white dress, which I think is so cute to, if you're a golfer too, I feel like this is so fun. Obviously it's from Zara, but it's way less expensive than getting like a brand name situation. This skirt spoke to me. I wanna wear this in LA. I freaking love it. It's actually a skirt, which is even better. And I love the belt. So cute with like some tall boots. And then lastly from Zara, I got just this brown mock neck midi dress. Perfect for my trip to Canada um, for one of the nights for dinner, I feel like, or we'll bring to LA, which I could podcast in this. I could go to dinner after in this. It'll be perfect. Uniqlo, I wanted to go to Uniqlo because I'm literally wearing it right now. I love their heat tech line. Um, this is the ultra warm heat tech long sleeve. It's amazing, it's lined on the inside. It's such a great base layer, it's so warm. I'm actually going skiing in Banff and I've never skied before in my entire life but they were offering us lessons and I was like, you know what, this is my push. I, I feel like I'm gonna be not bad at it. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. I think it's gonna be hard. Um, I've done like water skiing. I've done all the other things. I've just never snow skied. I didn't grow up in like a family that goes skiing for spring break. Like, I don't know. It's, I feel like that's when you learn how to ski. But I got some base layers for just being in Banff because I think the high is like 19 degrees. So I got a white, like, I guess this isn't a turtleneck. This is like a high neck, they call it. A white one and then a dark gray one. I obviously wanted black, but they were sold out. So these all we'll, we'll wear here in the city and then also in Canada. And then also this shirt just spoke to me. <laughs> it's also from Uniqlo. It's not their heat tech line. It's just like a ribbed. I got it in an extra small, so it's nice and snatchy. Oh, and lastly from Uniqlo for my Miami trip slash just since, you know, I like to keep my face protected in the sun. I love this. This was at the checkout line at Uniqlo, but I love this fabric. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's thick, but it looks like it holds its structure, which is really nice, and I needed it. Then, as you guys know, I went to the Webster. Delaney's actually helping me with something later this week, and she's always just the best and expects nothing, but I got her the candle that is the scent that they like puff through the air in the store. It's South Beach, it's the South Beach scent from the Webster, so I'm excited. And the girl gave me this little bag to like give Delaney the gift in. And obviously I bought myself the candle too because it's so good. But then also, I mean, you guys saw like the try on. I got that Alexander Wang set. And then I got that black tank courage i don't know how to say that brand and then i ended up buying those mugler pants like the crazy black and denim 
ones for i think they would be so sick in la maybe miami with like a white tank and black boots how hot and i can't believe i got that alexander wang said i just i saw it in toronto and i've still been thinking about it and then i see it today and i'm like it's just meant to be i just love a matching set you guys know that um so i didn't get that denim jacket thing with the belt on it it was just really cool so the webster will be my new best friend it's very it's not ex um cheap but they have, the, the things that they pull from each designer are all my style. So it's fun if I know I have like a really special event or something, I definitely suggest going there. I worked with Sierra there. She was amazing, um, great stylist. So yeah, that's my haul. I ordered Chipotle. I was gonna like cook dinner tonight, but I'm so hungry right now. I haven't eaten. I had a, I made a little granola bowl this morning with like fruit and yogurt. And then I had obviously that protein bar, but I, I didn't have lunch. So this is just gonna be my dinner. And I got extra chicken. Cause I'm just obsessed with like eating protein right now. So we got extra chicken, very excited about it. And I'm just really lazy to get off my seat here. Yay. Ah! If you're at all curious, I will share my Chipotle order with you. I got chips this time because the elite way to eat it is obviously dipping with chips, but I don't do that every time. I was like, I didn't have lunch. I need the extra carb here. Chipotle forks go hard, shaky, shaky. My Chipotle order is honestly pretty plain. I don't, but this is the same Chipotle order I've had since high school. I thought I didn't like Chipotle because the first time I tried it, whatever I got was like spicy. And my friend Mary Steven, who I'm still friends with to this day, we were at cheer practice and we were like doing an order to like eat it before the game. And she was like, try this. She was like, try it with chicken. Cause I think got steak. She like get the chicken, rice and beans and you'll be obsessed with it. Whatever she told me is what I do now. And I'm obsessed. Um, well, I think she adds like other things, but I do brown rice, black beans, chicken. I actually got double chicken this time. And I think I might just always do that. Cause I feel like there's never enough chicken and lettuce and pico de gallo. So, and then, like I said, the elite way is take a good old Chipotle chip. Mm. Changed into my cozies, of course. Gotta put on my little park sweatshirt and these park, they're also by the same brand, Chelsea Kramer, I think. That's her, well, that's her Instagram. I don't know if she's Chelsea Park, I assume so. Um, that's her Instagram. And she also has these really cool boxer pants. I just bought them in blue as well but it's a fun little lounge set. Anyways, I'm gonna light my new Webster candle. I don't know how to explain this. It literally smells so good. It smells actually, this is so niche, like, well, the stores, so if you go to a store, or it smells like the Delta Sky Club. Whatever they pump in the air at the Delta Sky Club smells like that. I don't know how to explain it. For all my Dallas girls, and I think LA too, we went to La La Land Kind Cafe, La La Land Coffee, and I was so obsessed with how they gave us our coffee. I like cleaned it out and brought it home. Like, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, I'm gonna like drink. I don't think I could put hot coffee in this cause I got an iced coffee. So if I make an iced coffee and put it in here, I just, I, this is so cute. Every time you go get a coffee, this is what you get. Like that's so fun. Speaking of beverages though, I sauna today. I worked out today. I need to hydrate. So we're gonna make an element electrolyte. We already know how much I love element electrolyte mix. It's just so great to add into your lifestyle, whether you like went out the night before or you saunaed like me and you need some more hydration or you're an active person and you just feel dehydrated a lot. This is perfect. This is my ultimate favorite flavor. This is citrus salt. Also love grapefruit salt, watermelon salt. There's so many amazing flavors, honestly. They also have a box of different chocolate ones that you can serve hot. So you get a little hot, co hot cocoa, a little hot cocoa moment, but also getting hydrated. So I'm gonna make this one. I've been craving it. I also brought it when I traveled because I get super dehydrated when I travel. You guys know the drill. It's actually so exciting too when I see that so many of you guys have been getting into Element. Like I got Brooke on it, it tastes good, and I seriously feel better after, I swear. So right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. This is a great way to try all of the Element flavors. So if you wanna get a free sample pack with any purchase and try all these amazing flavors, like I literally love this so much. Mm. 
It's so good. Like I actually get excited to drink it, which I think is really telling. <laughs> Go to drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. Pick a flavor you're wanting to try. Citrus salt is my favorite. And then when you use this URL, which I'll also have linked down below, you'll get that free sample pack as well. So you can try all the flavors, boom, done. And you can see what you like the best. Um, so that's drinklmnt.com slash Danielle Carolyn. I'll have it here on the screen and you guys can check it out. Currently on my treadmill little walking pad I had to edit something and I was like why don't I walk while I do it because I love walking after dinner but I'm in for the night so this is perfect I can edit I can walk I'm only walking at a speed of two because otherwise I think I would trip because I'm looking at my phone but this thing has changed the game, man. I am just so obsessed. I don't even care that I had to move a bar stool and that it doesn't look perfect to my apartment. Like, I'm active. That's good. I don't remember the last time I vlogged. I like talked to my mom. My mom was in Egypt for 10 days and she's finally on her way back. She's at the London airport right now. So I was talking to her on the phone and just putting away stuff, unboxing things, stuff like that. Um, so now we're gonna get to the bulk of my computer work. I just popped on some proper sneakers now. And we're gonna clear out my inbox to get all my work done on my treadmill. Um, I literally wear my blue light glasses and all. I was walking on it earlier, but I didn't have the full setup going. I have to put two coffee table books there to like elevate my computer perfectly so I can type. I wish I could go faster than 2.5, but it's harder for me to do any faster than that with the computer. So, and I have the bar down. If I bring the bar up, then you can go faster than 2.5, but either way, I can't do that. So, we are just gonna get to it. I'm obsessed, guys. Everyone needs a walking pad. Work is done, it's now 10 p.m. And I decided I'm gonna take another shower because I was just like walking around all day and why not? <laughs> I like showers and like when I'm cold at night, it warms me up. I just got this in PR. This is the Naturopathica Sweet Cherry Brightening Enzyme Peel. Sounds nice. It says apply a thin layer over clean, damp skin to activate and leave on for three to five minutes. Um, and in the little card they sent, it said to do it and then like hop in the shower to wipe it off. I feel like that's the best way to do masks because when you're trying to wash a mask off your face, there's water everywhere. Like I think a shower is a good place to do it. Okay, so I need clean, damp skin. So we're gonna dampen the skin. I could always use a nice brightening peel. And then when I get out of the shower, we're gonna do some self tanning. I'm either gonna use Tan Lux, the water, or the gradual. Haven't decided. I should probably do the water because I'm going out tomorrow night. I also have the express water, which I've been wanting to try because I think you can shower it off in two hours. But am I gonna be awake in two hours? And what if I slept in it? Is that a problem? Things to think about, folks. Things to think about. So I'm just gonna apply a thin layer. Oh, it really does smell like cherries. I love skincare. I love being a girl, honestly. I'm very thankful for it. It's fun to just try little things like this. <laughs> just showered and then I put some of this, I love this stuff, the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil on my face and I'm just doing a little dermaplaning. It's just turning into an everything shower kind of night. Well, I didn't wash my hair. I'm getting a blowout in the morning, okay? I love getting a blowout on Fridays or styling my hair on Fridays so that I have a blowout for the rest of the weekend. Um, but yeah, these are just the tinkle ones that you can get on Amazon and I feel like my makeup just applies better. And I forget that like if you put oil on your face and then dermaplane, it takes off way more hair and it also just doesn't wreck your skin. Sometimes I raw dog it and just do it without oil on my face and this is definitely a game changer. It also just glides better. So I'm just doing that and then we're gonna self tan, but I don't really know if the mask did anything or not, but my face looks nice and glowy right now for sure. Self tan is on and I need to like wind down. So I'm gonna take a Lemmy Sleep gummy here in a second. And I'm also gonna refill my supplements for the week. This is my little box. I keep it under there and I pull it out just once a week and I refill my supplements. I'm taking Nutrafol right now, you guys, and I really think it might be helping my hair grow. Ta-da, all done. And I decided not to put my probiotic in here because I'm realizing you're supposed to take this 
on an empty stomach and sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So I'm gonna not put it in it and just try and take these like when I have my coffee in the morning. Also making some sleepy time tea to wind down even further. We're just having a little night to ourselves, aren't we? Ugh. I just love being in my apartment. I could be in my apartment all day. I can entertain myself, no problem. I can organize something new. I just love it, but I'm gonna wind down and I'm actually excited about my book. I finally got into it a little bit, so it'll be good. I'm reading this book right now, The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pacannon. And it took a little bit for me to get into it for whatever reason, but I'm in now. So I'm actually excited to read it, which is such a great feeling when you're excited to read your book before bed. Gonna shut the blinds, put the red lights on, read a little bit, drink my tea, brush my teeth, and head to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Oh, Ryan's calling me. Good morning. Hey, top of the morning. Top of the morning, happy Friday. Just calling to say good morning. You would have thought that call was staged. That was so cute. Ryan texts me good morning every morning, but not usually calls me because he like gets right on calls. So that was very, very sweet. But yeah, I woke up wide awake this morning at like 6 a.m. And I was like, do I capitalize on this and like get up and start my day? And I wanted to, but then I remember today's Friday and I have like plans with my friends tonight to go out and stuff. And if I want to stay out even past like 11.30 tonight, I, I was like, I need to go back to bed. But then of course I slept in past when I wanted to. So I'm a little behind schedule, but yeah, I'm about to go to dry bar. I like to wash my hair beforehand. I've noticed sometimes I love their products. I love their dry shampoo. I love their heat protectant, but their shampoo and conditioner that they've been using on me, I think it makes my scalp even like drier and flakier so and i love my shampoo like i love my bondi boost so but i wanted to have my makeup done before i went to dry bar so that i can come back and just change really quick oh and i didn't even tell you guys i left my makeup bag in dallas i feel so bad kenzie had to ship it out i hate to be that inconvenience like i i, I texted kenzie i was like i'm so sorry like she was like no your makeup bag you need it's so okay like i've done this before she was very understanding but so i'm just Wow, yeah, I just realized I'm doing my makeup. I have lots of makeup. I have all kinds of things, but I don't have like my makeup bag. So I'm just gonna grab for random things I have in my drawers. But she did like one day shipping, so I'm supposed to get it today. It was so expensive, but I go out of town on Tuesday and they don't ship it on weekends. So I had, it wasn't, it was either gonna come today or on Tuesday. So I had to pay for the, the, the big daddy. Um, okay, so the is done. Let's go do makeup really quick. I made coffee. I'm so excited to do AM Uncovered with Katie this morning. She's like one of my best friends, so it's gonna be fun. It's also a super sunny day, so that puts me in a good mood. Makeup is done, hair is wet, sweats are on, to go, coffee in hand. Dove gave us these little, look how cute. I have to go, dry bar time. That was so quick. Looks good. Let's make some breakfast. <laughs> to Katie's apartment. Here is my outfit of the day. I think I'm gonna change my shoes. I am just so, I like feel so weird wearing flat shoes. I like always need platform or sneaker or something. Um, but I do love these ballet flats. I think they're from Franco Sarto. I just don't know how they look with this outfit, but also I take off my shoes usually when I get to their apartment. So I'm wearing this top I just got from Abercrombie. I'll have it linked below. You can like um, snatch it in the back, which is nice. So it fits to your body more. I love this. I just got these jeans. They might be some of my new favorite jeans. I was looking for a straight leg jean, but it's just really hard for me. So I always end up just going super baggy. But then I'm like, I need a little bit more of a fitted jean. And these are from Legeance, actually, because I tried on a pair of their jeans for Fashion Week and I was like, wait, these fit like a charm. So yeah, minimal jewelry, added mascara. And we're gonna go get Katie's AM Uncovered. If you guys don't follow the series, you can watch it on Instagram 
or TikTok. Let's go. Update, I switched to these even though my feet are gonna be exposed a little bit. I just needed some platforms, so I'm wearing these platform backless loafers from Jeffrey Campbell. I think they're so cute. Oh, I, I'm just taking it. Maybe I'll get yeah, some Yeah, get some B-roll. All the cameras will be in We're at Katie's way. apartment, and we're about to take a little real cover. Woo! We're seeing Katie's morning. We just crock-potted. Yes, we did. Um, Indeed. I can't wait for you guys to see this episode. It's so good, and Katie's apartment is so cute. Thank you. So we're gonna do the side. Do you want... Uh, what side were we on before when we were oh, sitting? Oh, opposite. So probably here, right? Yep. Probably. Continuity. So I am the uh, yeah, continuity. Oh my gosh. Yay. We, do you want to be in this corner? I love this corner. Yeah, so yeah like this. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me. My my home is your home. Oh, be my guest. <laughs> Obviously, just love Katie's apartment, and I can't wait for you guys to see this episode. I saw some emails come through while I was out, and it's Friday, so I feel like people are on their computers right now. And if I get anything out later, it just will be pointless until Monday. So, working on that, we just, I think, secured a very fun, very exciting guest for AM Uncover. So, I'm gonna get that going. Gotta redo my planner for the day. And then we're going to record the podcast and I'm really excited this episode. It's going to be so fun. I think it'll be out by the time this video is up. It's going to be all about Brooke and I's perfect weekend formula. So like no matter where you live, it's not like New York specific. It's like what I like to do on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Like when I'm here in the city, I have a very specific like formula. I like how my weekends to play out. Like what night I like to go out, what night I like to stay in, like stuff like that. So it'll be a fun episode. If you don't listen already, Gals in the Go podcast. We're gonna make a quick lunch before I head to the studio to record the podcast. We're trying out a new studio. Comment down below which one you guys like better. Um, we like this one because they get a wider angle so the TikTok clips aren't super close up on our face. Um, but still trying to figure it all out, honestly. Um, I don't even know how many of you guys watch on YouTube versus just listen. I'm gonna make some lunch. This is one of my favorites. I It's a little treat. I went to Citarella, which is a really lovely grocery store here in the city. And I love their meatballs and their green beans. In the Hamptons, I would literally just go and get this. And it's a great lunch and it lasts a few lunches, obviously, or dinner if you prefer. So I'm gonna put a couple meatballs in the bowl with some green beans, a little protein, a little veggie, and it's the perfect lunch i just love italian food and this way i'm like ooh, i get that italian vibe without like you know doing a whole italian cooked meal it's perfect italian is definitely my favorite cuisine if you couldn't already pick up on that if you've been watching for me i'm gonna do two meatballs because i had that protein thing i'm not starving and some green beans i'm doing a lot of traveling so i haven't been getting lots of groceries i'm just raw dogging it with my hands that's a lot of green beans actually no I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I feel like I need to put a paper towel over top so it the sauce doesn't like explode everywhere. Mwah! Ciao bella! Hi there, how are you? recording it was amazing it was a really fun episode i think you're gonna like it i signed up for an equinox workout class last night that had like 10 plus people on the wait list i was like for sure i won't get on it but let me just try woke up this morning i got booked in the class but that's good so we're going to pilates mat so i'm wearing this set from shop ida um new balance sneakers and i'm gonna throw over this tank top that i think is joa brown and we're gonna run over there. I honestly don't have much time, but it'll be a good start to the weekend. Definitely am not 
working out tomorrow and I guess I'll just leave my makeup on, which I hate doing my makeup, hate working out in makeup, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Let's go. I took off my makeup before I headed out the door. It just feels so weird working out with a full face of makeup on. So that workout class wasn't for me. I don't really know. I feel like I didn't get a workout in. It was like super small movements and I couldn't follow really well. And I feel like if you can't follow well, then you're like lost and you're not doing it right. Whatever. I must have gotten some sort of workout, but it wasn't for me. This is one of my favorite snacks to make at home. I make little roll-ups. This is turkey with cheese. I just, I'm gonna have two of these as a snack before dinner. I just pulled my hair back. Still need to shower. We've got girls night tonight and I'm so excited. That's <laughs> girls night. Okay, we've showered. Hair is in a roller. About to crack open a mom water. I have found that if I'm having a night, if I have a drink while I'm getting ready, it just puts me in a good mood. In the nick of time, my makeup bag has arrived. Sweet Kenzie shipped me my makeup bag and it's here now. So I have all of my things, which is always a very exciting moment. Okay, the first sip. Mom water. It's vodka water, basically. It's like a seltzer, but it's not sparkling, which is funny because I actually love sparkling water, but I drink it so slow. And anyways, I talk about that all the time. Makeup time. Tonight we are doing a girl's dinner and going out after. It's a ton of my worlds colliding, which is just so fun. I am queen of just making my friends be friends. It's just one of my favorite things to do. So it's me, Caitlin, Seb, Delaney, Morgan, and then Caitlin's roommate and her friend. So it's gonna be a good time. We're going to dinner at this place called 23 Grand, which I've been wanting to try. And it's, I think it used to be called Veranda Soho. And I don't know if they rebranded or someone else bought it, but I think it's in the same location. It's this beautiful, like, it's not open air. It's definitely closed, but it's a ton of like skylights. It's just really pretty and vibey. It's American food, I believe. And we made reservations for 23 Grand and Lola Taverna. And then we obviously canceled Lola Taverna yesterday when we decided we wanted to do 23 Grand. And the goal is, some of my friends are like, I want to meet guys. Like, I want to go out with the intention of. And I was like, okay, I'll be wing woman tonight. No problem. I think that'll be so fun. And we'll just have like a fun little girly night. However, Ryan and his friends may meet up with us after. But I don't know if that's good for my friends that are trying to meet guys. If like guys should be around us. So... <laughs> we shall see. I'm blending to the neck hardcore because this foundation is a little dark. My spray tan has worn off a bit, even though I did use the tan luxe and I do think it gave me a nice color. Like this doesn't look super stark. But then Seb texted me and was like, do you or anyone want to do pre-dinner drinks at like somewhere nearby? And I was like, you know what? Sure, let's do it. So we're going to go to Little Ways, which is like a bar slash lounge, I would call it in soho which is where 23 grand is so and delaney was down as well so at least the three of us are gonna get some pre-dinner drinks which i think is always fun if you have the time because dinner's not till 8 30 and then we're gonna go to dinner so i mean i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog tonight because i'm also gonna be with some people that i'm not usually around and i don't want to throw my camera in their face even though i just vlog on my phone but you guys will get some vibey shots for sure and then ryan literally just informed me so tomorrow is ryan and i's five year anniversary yep five how crazy so we're spending the whole day together tomorrow and we're actually starting the day off with an anniversary brunch and i just realized i didn't even know where we were going and he just told me that we're going to Sarah Beth's in Tribeca, which I love Sarah Beth's. And I actually didn't particularly realize there was one in Tribeca. So he told me we have reservations at 11. So I'm like, okay, I cannot be hungover tomorrow because I want to enjoy that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to finish getting ready. I want to like blast some music and vibe out. But I just want to give you guys the lowdown for tonight. And we'll, I'll get dressed and we'll do all that. Okay, I'm calling my Uber. We're about to be ready. I went on Instagram Live and had you guys help me. I also used some of this Patrick Ta major glow bomb and my chest is glowing i really thought i was gonna do this black dress but then i went on instagram live and you guys were all like actually not everyone it was a split room here's the fit so top is meow shashi earrings love aj bracelets this is kit keenan's collab with artless forever it's this perfect little black skirt wearing my fleece lined sheer looking black tights and then black boots and I think I'm gonna do my black fur coat, faux fur coat, and then this YSL shoulder bag. 
What do we think? I have to like look in the mirror again. A part of me is like, should I have done the dress? But we're in this outfit now and my car is one minute away. So we're gonna have a night. I ended up having two mom waters. And I'm feeling good. Maybe a little breast spray Ooh, for the road. I love breast spray. Okay, see you guys there or somewhere. I don't know. Saturday, Ryan and I did not <laughs> make our reservation this morning. We slept, 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 which was good. And then we just canceled the reservation, but um, it's okay because Ryan went and got his bagels and this is better. And it's like raining and we have a whole day ahead, which I don't even think I told you guys about our day, which I'll tell you later when I'm getting ready. Right now I need to eat my bagel, ice roll and drink my coffee. Okay, Ryan just left. I have to get ready semi quickly, but my apartment is quite literally a mess. So we need to get our life together. I need to drink an element electrolyte ASAP, um, but we have a fun day ahead. How many times can I say that without telling you guys what we're doing? Are dressed and ready it's raining out so i decided to pull my hair in a half a pep down because i just know if i were to do like a blowout look and walk out and my hair just i'll be sad so the half a pep down i like kind of straightened the bottom my hair is getting long um we're going to the nets game today we're going to the nets versus the hawks with to sew watches which is so exciting so today's ryan and i's five year anniversary <clears throat> and we were just gonna like go to dinner and then wait did i already fucking say all of this so we're going to a game with Tissot watches, which I got Ryan a Tissot watch for his birthday and he loves it so much. And I obviously love Tissot watches too because I got one for Ryan and it looks so good on him. It's his favorite everyday watch. <clears throat> and they invited us to their suite today and to like go on the court before the game and eat at the crown club after which we've both seen all over TikTok. It's owned by major food groups. So I think like there's gonna be a little carbon zest to it. And uh, it's gonna be like a whole day. And actually Brooke and Ben are going too. So you know what? We could go to dinner for our anniversary or we could do this really cool experience that we're both super excited about. So the Mets, the Mets, the Nets are black and white from what I gather, the colors. So <clears throat> I actually rented this top from Pickle. It's an Alexander Wang top. And I'm happy with my makeup today. Earrings are Love AJ. And then I, I keep wanting to give these pants away, but then I just keep having reasons to wear them. They're just so sick. They're actually from Olivia Jade's collaboration with Princess Polly years ago, like years ago. And then I decided to wear black boots. I had on sneakers, but then I was just like so bro -y, and I'm pretty sure that Brooke is wearing a dress. So I was like, I want to have a little femininity here. And then I'm trying to decide if I should bring these. I feel like yes for the vibes. I got these sunglasses in Toronto, they're Prada. I know it's so extra, but like, it's fun to be extra. And then a jacket. It's just funny that Ryan and I are celebrating our anniversary. And, but you know, we had a really nice morning and we're gonna be together all day. So, and it'll be a really fun experience. I feel like this is probably what I should do. It's just like a black bomber. It's raining, so I'll bring an umbrella. So I don't think it's, yeah, it's always warms up when it's raining, it's 48. Or I just love this jacket, but I don't know if the material doesn't go with the rest of my outfit. It's from Super Down, it's from Revolve, I love it. It's so sick, but I don't know if this is like, I mean, I'm wearing literally all black and this would kind of break it up, but I don't know if like this biker material goes with the pants. So I'll probably end up going with the black. I'm just gonna look in the mirror a few more times and decide, but yeah, I have this light on. I'm so excited. <laughs>
this is the candy room and apparently we can just take candy. There's so many, oh my God, fun. <laughs> Ooh, gummy bears. Did you get some gummy bears? I did. Yum. There's sodas down there. Oh my God, these are my favorite. Gotta get some nerds. A whole ad for Tampa Bay <laughs> at the subway station. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, this is making me happy. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday and I'm not hungover, which is exciting. That's the perfect thing about my weekend formula. You guys need to go listen to Girls on the Go. Ryan and I had the best day. I'm so glad we ended up doing that. I, a part of me was like, oh, should we do be doing something like this for like our anniversary? Like, should we just be doing something the two of us? Him and I were kind of discussing and we were like, this is just such a cool opportunity. Um, and I'm so glad we went. It was such a chill event. Like everyone from the brand was so cool and it was so fun having Brooke and Ben there. And then Brooke actually wasn't feeling well. I felt so bad. So she and Ben headed out towards the end of dinner and Ryan and I stayed for a while and like our, we became friends with our waiters and they brought us shots for our anniversary. It was very cute. And then we came back and we were like, should we go to a comedy show? But we were just so cozy inside and it was like kind of raining. So we <laughs> watched Night at the Museum because last weekend we went to the Museum of Natural History and we were like, why haven't we watched this movie in a while? Um, we watched that and we ordered Cold Stone, but then we both fell asleep on the couch and the Cold Stone was delivered and I had like two bites. I woke up and Ryan like never had any. So I sent him home this morning with his ice cream. But then we woke up, spring chicken, and there's this place called Bubby's in Tribeca that is so good and on the weekends you can't make reservations. So, um, but it's in Tribeca, it's near the West Side Highway, so it's like, we should walk down to Tribeca and wait in line at Bubby's, like, bring coffee and stuff, and it'll be a great start to the day. Bubby's has the best pancakes, so. And we didn't get to do our proper brunch yesterday. Um, so I'm just loading up on skincare. I put self-tan drops on my face, and I used this stuff before bed, too. The Gradual Tan Lux. Yeah, so today's Sunday. I don't know. I was gonna get a workout in maybe, but honestly, if we go for a super long walk, I'll be very content. Maybe I'll pop into a Pilates class. I'm not really sure, but I also need to shoot something and Sweet Delaney is gonna help me. I have to check in with her because she went out last night, so I don't want to like, if she's super hungover, I can ask. Woo! Ah! I can ask if Ryan can do it. It's 50 something degrees right now and it's getting up to a high of 63. So I'm wondering if I can just tough it out with this jacket or should I add a vest? All right, we are glowy, we are oiled, we are eye creamed. This is my current favorite perfume. I've, this is my third bottle of this. It's called Noir from Le Labo. Anyone can wear this. Like, I want Ryan to start wearing it, honestly. It smells so good. Let me show you guys what outfit we're working with. I just got this jacket from Aloe. I got it in white too, because look, I don't know if you guys can see, it's a corset. Like, this part is a corset. It's so cool. The white one, you can tell more but I just love how it cinches. And then I'm actually wearing yoga pants, flared leggings from Spanx, some gold hoops. I'm wearing a black tank underneath. This headband, this specific headband pack, um, Kate Davis posted about and I was like, thank you. Because it's always hard to find wide enough headbands that like actually keep your hair back. It just like looks weird if they're smaller, at least on me. And Kate Davis, one of my favorite gals posted about them. So if I remember, I will link them down below because they're great and they're like in a pack. I wish they were they had a pack of all black ones, but it came with like white, brown, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna pop on some sneakers. I think I'm gonna go fanny pack. I think that's what we're gonna do. Should I step outside and see if this is even a possibility for me to just wear this? I hope so. What are people wearing outside? Mm. Ooh. The grass is wet on my balcony. Ugh. I feel like I could benefit from a vest. And I do, I do have a vest. But I also could probably just do this, but Tribeca's like right by the water, so am I gonna hate my life? So I have this vest from Naked that I love. It like belts. I wonder if I'm just gonna be happier if I wear this too. Oh, I also have a nail appointment later, so I need to figure out what to do with my nails. These are like the glazed donut Hailey Bieber nails and I kind of just want to do it again because they're so pretty and they really just go with anything. Now you can't see my corset jacket. This is still cute. 
I feel like I'll be happier if I just have this. Isn't it cute? I love like the cap sleeves here. Last minute, I ended up taking off the vest and I'm actually really happy I did that. I'm like a little chilly at points, but I can walk faster and I can like, I'm more motivated to make it a brisk walk and a nice workout because I don't have the thick vest on me. Oh, the sun feels so good. Like when the sun is out, New York City is alive. Picked up somebody. Ooh. Almost to Bubbies. It's so nice out. Had to try the biscuits. We got jam and butter. Wow. Major props to Ryan. We just left Bubbies. And he goes, Is that the guy from the bear over there? Jeremy Allen White. And I looked over, I was like, Wait, that's 100% of it. It looks like he was with his mom or something. So, yeah, you always see celebrities in Tribeca. Props to Ryan for spotting. I would have never. You know, it's a beautiful day when West Side Highway is crowded again. It's barren here in the winter. Currently grounding. Decided to lay in the grass. Ryan thinks I'm so silly. It feels so good. It's so good to ground yourself sometimes and lay in the grass. Back home now. I just showered, planning some outfits. Delaney's coming over to help me film something. I'm filming a how to wear these beautiful Mark Fisher shoes three different ways. And I thought it'd be fun to do one spring, one summer, one winter. So I just planned spring summer i need to do winter now so on the weekends i'll do this thing i always know i want to get some sort of movement in on sundays um but every time i've booked a class for sunday i end up skipping it so now i just will like ryan and i went for a long walk today and that would have that was enough but i went on equinox like the app and just saw like i didn't plan for anything i just kind of look at when classes are and there was one at four o'clock which is in 30 minutes and it's stronger, it's just like weightlifting, which sounds nice. Like I don't really wanna do cardio right now. I never wanna do cardio, but um, so I'm gonna do that and I think it'll be nice. I'm intimidated because I've never taken this class before, so I have to like look at everyone's mats, like, okay, what weights do I get? Like, I don't know. But I did get a new pair of shoes, so I thought it'd be perfect to take them out on town. These are New Balance, I don't know what they're called, but I've seen this style everywhere and these are the all white versions of that style. I'm just obsessed. Like I wanted, they're the Absorb maybe? I just, I love this so much. I like how it makes my feet look big. I actually like a big foot. I think, I mean, these are my size, but I just like, I don't know, I feel like it makes my legs look tiny. I don't even know, like I love it. So I'm gonna put these on, just wearing an all black outfit. And I'm also getting a manicure, like I said. So I may come back before that, or I might just get a smoothie, an early dinner, and then go get my manicure. I'm not really sure, but I'll bring you guys along, of course. Okay, they're the New Balance 9060s. I just looked at them a little bit more, but like, I love them. They make me look so athletic, I feel like. Probably not. Everyone else has these sneakers too, but I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a happy, I'm a happy girl. Class is over. It was actually so hard, but I'm really glad I did it. And now I have this beautiful afternoon. I'm gonna grab a smoothie, then we're gonna finally get these puppies done. Oh, the sun, the glow. Nails are done. Mickey recommended this Thai restaurant nearby called May Ri. And I don't have groceries as we know, so I texted Ryan and he was down. Sunday night Thai food just sounds like a nice meal. So I'm running there though. He got there a little bit before me. shower of the day I'm so tired I think so so I did a lot of walking and then I also worked out um, but I love my nails I ended up doing like a baby pink 
with chrome. I'm pretty much always doing chrome. So, and I, I scratched myself. That's what that's all about. I cut myself with my bracelet and now I'm trying to heal it because I don't want it to scar. But um, anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this week weekend in my life and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.